Hmm. Okay, I'm not really familiar with what either Ump is trying to accomplish. It's interesting to see AA1. Oh, AA1 has that special... Okay, so you have the, uh, the memory condition, which... I don't know, isn't really explained on these cards, but it lets you basically put your deck into a set aside area. And you can do that and combo it with the end is nigh to keep it from getting blown up. That's actually kind of a cool idea. Um, this is Chicago A1. Hmm. Right? No, no, it's Chicago. Okay. What the fuck? This is going all over the place. This is so tilting because he's is trying. He's trying. Muzzle, muzzle's Whatever. not not any good in this, is it? No, it's not. I mean, it's just career engine against. Why is he playing career end? It's so bizarre. Just run the season's turn again and be happy. <laughs> just running some jank, like and heavenly flower way is like no not heavenly M4, flower. You don't you don't need to pick the the golden car. <laughs> right. He wants. Uh, I thought he wants it for the thing. No, he he will get it from from Sakura Wings. Well, he can get it when he resurges Sakura Wings. Now, I guess that's maybe what? the plan there. He's writing his own deck list. It's really cringe. Oh right. I don't know. M four is just yoloing. He's okay. I'm I'm sorry, but whatever that card is, I don't even remember what it does. But I remember it's garbage. Whatever the one that the two two enhancement. Throw out. No, the enhancement from Hanoka. Oh, that's not yeah. a special. The enhancement? Yes. The wait, one that en- it tampers with range somehow. Oh, you're talking about t- oh, or we, favorable we, we, we get, This one? Increased range. That one. Yeah, that one. It's, yeah, it's that, That's I illegal. Agree. Right. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's important wrong. in this matchup at all. Yeah, I agree there. Yeah. The, that, that game he played with it. going to come into this match and he's going to tell me that he that lost was... at the vacant band phase and that he played absolutely perfectly and still lost. <laughs> but the trio was bad or the band was bad and he just played well. And it was, and he definitely shouldn't have attacked that one turn because of complete nonsense. But whatever. He didn't even bring Petal Storm, which is like probably the best 2-1 in the game. But, okay. Hard track if you want. Unless you count, I guess, Scattering Strike, but that's kind of not a 2-1. Oh. Well, it is a 2-1, but it has the all-out effect. All right. I think Hebro just wins because his deck's easier to play and actually makes sense, but who knows? Hebro might grief it, too. So, did it freeze? Hello? Mm-hmm. Did I freeze? Did it? Am I dying? Are you dying? Okay, so 2-2 two, two to start off. Yeah, that's fine. Not opting for any of the after attacks. Oh. Am I back? Hello. Couldn't tell that you'd left. Um. Okay, card yeah, this the hand to the bottom. Is he not choosing to draw a card? No, I thought he's trying to card. Okay. And he just put that at the bottom. So he's going to have to discard. I guess you probably just discard Tailwind, right? Because who cares? That's like the worst card in the game, probably. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not the worst card in the game, but it's probably the worst card in his deck for this matchup. It's, it's got to be there just solely for mechanism. I mean, I guess, but that's so sad. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's whatever. Just play out your cards. Move to play out the two two. 
Yeah, you don't really play out the gnawing dust. You don't even oh, no, the gnawing dust. You don't even play the gnawing dust in the first pass through, right? Because there's no target. Unless they focus hard for uh, whatever reason. He kept he mind. kept to the favorable wind. Okay. I guess he really Why wants not? that that green mana. Is this just recover? I don't even know. They're getting it throughout to the plate pile it might be nice to early recover. Okay. Oh, that makes sense because he knows the M4 wants to play enhancements, so depriving shadow makes sense. I think. I agree. Time to play favorable wins, and then he's gonna advance four, five times. <laughs> no, he can only advance four times. I believe. Honestly, I don't even remember what these cards do on Kure's attack. What is it? It's, um, I don't know. Wait, did he bring? Did he even bring Connect Dive? He didn't, right? Said. He did, I think. I don't think so. That was the first card he put in his deck. Oh, Connect Dive. Then? He may have swapped it out after some point. I wasn't looking, but. Or just yeah, look at the so you have this one. Yes. You want the specials, or do you want the the attacks? I'll look at this first. So that's two. It's three, and if it's this one, so it's a three two. It's a three um, two. Terminal. If you have the vanilla mech, if you have the connect dive, then it becomes a five three. Terminal. If you double both effects. And why is it five three? Because you can play the you double the mechanism effects with connect dive. Mm, I see. That's right. Okay. And the other one. All right, zero, zero. Zero, zero, Not no reactions, curve. normal. Oh, it's one, one, two, two. So it's like two, 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 two? Yeah, it's two, two, twos. Okay. If you double, he, if you double both effects. He Wait, has Railgun in his hand right now, yep. Uh, for some reason, that Railgun was a three out. It's not. It just requires a throughout for the mechanism. For one of its mechanisms. Okay. And that's not optional. Right. So if you have a throughout in your played pile, it's always terminal. Okay, got it. And can you just hover his specials real quick? You don't, you don't necessarily have to alt shift. Oh, he did bring connective. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. One one. I don't remember his, but I remember his. It's ruinous toxin, uh, Ashmore's Miss Bane, and um, the Russian one. The what one? Russian one. Oh. Every cars are in Russian. Yeah, it's the uh, reaction. Oh, all right. He just took that to life. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Old. Was there punishes? There might be punishes actually. Um. Um. Maybe. Not really with this current mechanism, but it's possible that he could get three two. Is it? Is it possible? Yeah, he could. He could move up. No, I don't think he can move up too. Oh, he could move up too. Actually, no, yeah, he could get a 3-2 with Railgun. If he plays the blaster for no effect, just to get Mechanism, and then moves up Tailwinds. Eh, that's fine, I guess. But that's a bad focus. I guess he, he could help he gets eaten. Uh, I guess he gets to see gnawing dust here. Mm -hmm. He might be aiming yeah, to gonna... just spend it this turn so that he makes shadow and then can play his enhancement. We'll see. Nope. Okay. He can also react to gnawing dust if it comes out with season's turn. Okay. I guess that's true.
So two, 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 right? And that's it. Can he play both? Yeah, it's just two, two, two. Is that right? Seven. Yeah. He yeah, it's just it's just two, two, a two, two, two. Okay, we're seeing Are the you? oh no, we pulling it back, uh, going up first because it wasn't in range. Yeah. True. Might as well play it now. I mean, honestly, if this gets turned, it doesn't matter that much, right? You just kind of force him to play Season's Turn, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't even have to. He just loses out if he doesn't, though. Discard bottom of deck. Draw. Okay. And discard card. Goodbye, Sucker Wing. Yep, chooses life, no player damage. And then 2 2 2 2. And then you have one card left to reshuffle. No, he's not going to 2 2 2 2. No? Okay. No, that's not worth it. You're not getting it's life weird. damage, but you're kind of depriving resources a little bit. No, you're giving resources because it gives them shadow. So, oh, I guess he doesn't care. But I, how much you want to bet he's going to recover some of this? Or he's just not... What? You're just going to show that the special exists first and then not play it. Uh, M4 might get life damage. Why does he keep two cards? I wonder. Just so that he can have a bigger turn next turn. I don't I mind guess. that he kept two cards. I don't like that he kept a reap. I would have rather have seen the... Uh, this particular situation, I would have liked to have seen the... Um, but reap can hit. Both the two two sound can strip an enhancement down, so I guess that's something. I mean, sure, but that's a R4, right? And his opponent's stuck at R6. For now, he can yeah. move and play Reap, but, like, is it worth? I don't know. He's gambling on the fact of whether or not his opponent plays an enhancement. And, yeah, he can deny two Shadow or, I mean, two Aura, Flare, or something, but, like, I think I don't it's know. reasonable to expect Dictate to come out this turn or something like that. Um... That's probably why he decided to change his mind about playing his uh, Fade Blade also. That, and you can do it uh, on his next turn and still get it on top of the deck for reshuffle. I would have liked to have seen Hero potentially um, play out the Toxin. And then, I mean, if you're committed to this play, I would have, that was kind of weird, but I would have preferred to have seen the um, Toxin come out if he wants, and then spend a Vigor and discard Reap and recover twice. Deny to um, Shadow as well as armor up and get the thing in. So I don't exactly know the best timing for Toxin. Maybe it's not now, but I can't imagine it's horrible right now. Or last turn it would have been horrible, maybe. Because it leaves him at one card anyway, right? Outside of... Um, Shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, but um, best time is either when it's going on top of an empty deck or when you make the deck odd, right? I make the deck odd. If you even out the deck, then it's oh, not as good because you're doing a small favor for your opponent. Also, in case I mean, I'm sure you know this, but the reason that Hebrew is playing this way, and this is the reason that M4 brought Tailwind. I mean, I know why. It's just so stupid because it's so minor. But the reason is that typically in a matchup versus Hanoka, you die, you deny the second bloom by overlocking your opponent until you can get a shit ton of life damage. And the reason that M4 brought Tailwind is to trigger the second bloom. That's practically it. Uh, so because the second bloom is the most critical one for Hanoka. Because um, because destructive spirit right is it, it, busted good. Yeah, and it's just easier to deny a range two to three because you're um, typically Hanokas have a lot of bring shadow wings if they're going to go for the five and you can't do anything about it. So it, it's putting Hebrew in a position where he wants to deny as much shadow as possible. But and Tailwind was also brought to at the same time of using its effect. As well as being able to play the second transformation, which is why he did this. Yeah. So, so he that's breaks the Zora here, he which is good. And he will actually get it off this turn, too. Um, let's see. Yep, he's got both uh, mech. I, so it's a 1 1 and a 1 1. 
Amazing. Yeah, M4 might win this. I don't, I don't know. I think I would have built the deck differently, but I do think that this might be able to break it. Oh, oh. interesting. That completely I... stops that because they're both after attacks. Yeah, clever usage. But the it's two to four, right? But the increase, yeah, it's two to four. That seems so that seems way off. too early, though, right? Is Bloom an after attack? Yeah. Uh, well, we did ice the Bloom this way too. Okay, so, that's, fair. Know, that's, fair. that's fair. That's fair. And he knows he has it. It's guaranteed. He knows 100% he has it in his hand. Yeah, because it went to the bottom of the deck and he's drawn his whole deck. Mm. Yeah, no, okay. I, th I was going to say, isn't that, that that's pretty early, right? Because you would want to play this when you're about to get blown up by, you know, two two twos or whatever later on with, when the connect dive is at full charge. But this actually is pretty pretty decent. Stalls out the the bloom chain, stalls out or it shuts down that attack. Yeah, I think that was respectable. I don't know if it was right, but I think it was a decent play. I mean, I personally think it's just theory, but. Yeah. It also rings back to a point I made earlier where I wish I would have liked to have seen the two two twos. Because now M4 is put into a bit of a predicament where in order to get Aura, he has to advance. There's no other way to get Aura. And the trick now is concealment, right? And of course he doesn't have concealment in his hand, but the ability to have two two twos is extremely powerful with concealment because that's five aura damage by itself. Of course, it relies on concealment, but I do think that having reap here is just worse. Even if you manage to reap out um, the flower way, I don't think it's or whatever it's called the tailwind. I don't think it's as good. Favorable. Um, Favorable wins. I don't know how good that is to reap this out. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. It only I think matters it's really if you care about Ashen. Right? And I don't think he particularly cares about Ashen. Only for uh, the moon. Full moon. Or whatever it is. Now he approaches here. What? Mm, okay, he's just playing it as a 2 1. Okay. Don't take it to life. You're going to take it. Actually, maybe you do take it to life. What is the other card in this game? Railgun. Nah. So now. It's a 3-2 terminal. I think it was correct to take the play. Oh, right. Yeah, that was correct. Yeah, sorry. I didn't see that card. For some reason, I thought he played it already. I get Blaster. Real there quick. it is. 3-2 terminal. Plays it out. Goes to Aura. All right. So now what? So now we need to evaluate the way that Hebrew is going to connect life damage this turn or this game. So now Hebrew is put into a predicament where he's just getting pressured out. Um, I oh, do think yeah. M4 is... He can hit life this turn. Wait a minute. Uh, oh yeah, certainly. I think you one one, you would open with a 1-1, one one, right? 1-dash. One yeah, you yeah, really... open with the 1-1. One one. Okay, he's opening 2-2. Two, two. I think, uh, well, you're kind of questioning your opponent's intelligence. But I, I don't know, I like 1-1 one, one to start with more, but it's whatever. It, the, the outcome's always the same, right? So. Oh, interesting. Yeah, good. Yeah, the outcome's always the same. Wait, is this worse? Because now concealment doesn't work. Now you can reap. Well, it does, but... You can reap. But you, oh, you know, reap. being able to conceal first might oh, still be better. Oh, reap is so juicy. Yeah, you're doing life to shadow. Reap is so juicy, right? And then he gets another life. Um, he's only getting one life if he has the aura. If you can, wow. if you can concealment and then move up, then I'm confused. Oh, he has wait. poison. He has hit a needle. He has needle. Oh yeah, yeah, he could needle. Yeah, then he gets one life to play. Yeah, yeah. If you if, yeah, he, if you that. needle first. Yeah. What? Is this a tourney match? Yeah. I don't know. There was no tournament. It's a league. Yeah. It's a league I match. Play the. Oh, same. Thing. Right. Play poison. Not same. 
him as a, as a very casual friend. All right, so uh, are we just hug? We can't hug at this point, right? Because Hanoka gets a second bloom. But what else? He has to recover. He has to gain aura. This is actually I, so juiced. Twelve shadow. I in one will turn say, um, this M four is take the lead. What the fuck did the game lead? Yes, because of griefing and uh, aura locking. How is there twelve Mixer. shadow at? In the first shuffle of the deck. Um, because M4 used uh, favorable winds to break his own aura. And. Yeah, Hebrew's already used the deception card, Prutzer. That was another one. Surprising, even with the two aura sucked away by the enhancement, that there's well. still 12 shadow. Hebrew also showed his last special, which is kind of grief, but whatever. He was playing a very open game. Is it just A2 or Recover 2? Recover 2 is probably, I don't know, I don't think it matters. So I guess it's a little better this way. It plays Not around the... Uh, He's going to draw it off the top, so it doesn't fucking bit. matter. I did not draw it off the top. Nope. Yeah. He got Blaster it? It? and... That's nothing, right? Yeah, he's got no mechanism. He's got one mechanism. It's a one-one. I I think what? they forget to remove a sacral token from the enchantment. It's okay. All right. He gets a. He gets to have an extra. Hmm. The... What happened here? Uh. Oh, he right. paid for he the reshuffle. To play there, but he he noticed he cannot. All right. How does Hebrew possibly lose this? Mm, I don't know. Both decks are. I think Hebrew's deck is like fair. <laughs> I think M4's M4, deck is kind of grief. Bro. Uh, M4 why do you keep opening your special path? card and close it? <laughs> yes, plus one shadow. What? Easy, what happened? Plus one shadow. <laughs> Wait, did he give him a muscle relaxant? No, he, he gave him a uh, numbing. That Why? Was I would reshuffle here for the triple attacks. He actually might. He's thinking about it. Think of your crazy, but he had full moon. But full moon's still on the table, though. Oh, but it's worth reshuffling. Three. Yeah, but what do you what do you care about the dash two attack when your opponent has zero aura? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, hey, just a needle. Yep. He's got a needle, and he's got full moon. Never going to work. Can't play. Wait, oh, that card is so broken. Yeah, it gets extra range now. Yeah, uh, here have another poison and another draw denied. Dude, that's so grief. Okay, tell me though. Tell me right now. That muscle relaxant isn't just better for a card that just sticks in your opponent hand. He can never play muscle relaxant, right? And it researches the Astral Morris Mistbane in this turn. I really hate the um, the usage of the uh, the thing. Numbing. The poison selection. Yeah. Well, numbing made it so he are. couldn't do any recovers last turn. Unless yeah, he I decided to keep it. Better. He's doing it again. He gives it to him again. Oh, he draws favorable wind. I would concede if I saw favorable winds in my hand ever again. Oh, but <laughs> there's ever oh. a time where I drew favorable winds, I would M4 instantly. Or finally drew the enhancement. This machine can start going now. Yeah, just in time. Just in time. What was Hebrew's last special? Uh, uh Fade Light, light Toxins, toxin. yeah. We, which card? Oh, is it Fade Light? Which card is... Uh, it's called yeah, Ruinous Soul Toxin, yeah. but the, the poison is called Fade Light. Uh, is that Plap? Uh, or or Larry? You mean Horobi's Poison? Yeah, which I think are in M4's hand. L99 names. Oh, there you go. He's uh, got... Is it Blaster or... Blaster. Or Railgun? Blaster. A Blaster. Or, Game's over. Yeah. M4 is the worst. Do you one 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 place? Yeah, two one ones. Connect dive is activating at the end of this turn. Yeah, isn't the name of this flag threatening? Dude, he can in the name of this flag his favorable wins. It's definitely the winning play right now. Yeah, get mm. that six charge favorable wins. <laughs> he can still do that in next turn. 
Actually, uh, yeah, you might you might blast her first, see how he takes the two one ones, and then in the name of this flag after. Yeah, yes. Ah, uh, muscle well, relax. I, I will move thing, forward to step in and press end. I value the resurgence of Asimora's Mistbane over the aura, in my opinion. I think it's just so much more threat. Now that he has Flare, like, Reap is such a bad draw here, too. Like, I, will, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but if, you, if he it's spends his Flare to do in the name of this flag, then Reap is good draw again. He's not going to play it. I mean, he should just play <laughs> out the 1-1 one, one, to the name of this flag and just lose. It's whatever. I mean, like, all right, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Just take it to Aura, Hero. Just take it to Aura. Take it to Life Choice. Play around the name of the flag. That's good. No, why? There's no punish. Like, the punish is so weak. And the flare is really bad for Hero because it doesn't. Oh, come on. See, it doesn't matter. Like, you will it away. your implant because now you can play Ruinous Soul Toxin next turn. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Poor sitting at zero aura. <laughs> But now, like, in the name of this flag, like, okay, it's just sort of a come at me thing. You play the, in the name of the flag, you clear your fair hand, Reap becomes a great draw. There's no I mean, way. Yeah, There's no way he plays Numbing Tux in here. Is that, you can't be thinking about playing Numbing Tux. Give me a break. I mean, I don't know. You might as well, right? I mean, two aura, what does that really gain over the play player? Numbing Tux and you may as well concede. <laughs> Why? There's no punish. Receive, what does two aura give you? Oh, aura. Yeah, I will receive aura damage because I think Hebrew don't need flavor. Players, right? Yes. Right. He, he at least Hero. only a, as much as like four. Yeah, that's what I said. I think that he shouldn't know. This is just really grief. I mean, I don't know. I think Hero should have taken it to Aura. Like anything else is just nuts, right? I mean, no, oh, he's he's doing like, it anyway. Doing it anyway. <laughs> Why? To put Hebrew on the back foot. Why? Let's oh go. Oh my gosh! Let's if you take if you take two to Aura, it's so much better. I'm telling you. Time to reshuffle, he bro. Or Why? Maybe not. Or maybe not. How many cards in his deck? How many life Four. points does he have? Four. Or I don't. You maybe don't need. If once he get the uh the two two attacks, probably will be the the game. Nah. Yeah, you can, you can reshuffle. Just, Let's go. You can just shuffle win off with the Utsuru Moon. He's got he's it's got good. Shadow Wing also, so he doesn't care about being at two range. Yeah, we you don't care about your opponent's attacks. Aggro reshuffle. You can't possibly die oh. this turn. Oh, he whiffed. Yeah, that's a, that's a dead draw. Ew. <laughs> Whatever, draw. recover four times. Whatever, might as well. Play Rune is so toxic if it makes you feel better. But I think the, it's just a hand dump. Like, none of the... Yeah, sure. Hmm. And I still really don't like the fact that he rushes should have taken two aura. He saves himself hey, more damage. Evens though. out Empor's deck again. This is a weird. Man, will he draw though? <laughs> Why wouldn't he draw? I mean, these cards are just so useless. You you might hold on to concealment. Concealment doesn't stop anything, but yeah, it does. It does set things up, so that's worth considering. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How much ore does he really need? Why only two? What are you holding gnawing dust for? What? Gotta keep that shadow. Gnawing, huh? dust, is... gnawing dust is so bad now. All so special, literally all specials have been revealed. Oh, well, hey, he's gonna finally res resurge season's turn. I mean, not resurge it, but you know, flip it down. And then go out into no. the corner and flip it down. Yes. Actually, Tailwind's actually pretty juice here because Concealment would have broken it too. I can't. I have to admit, Tailwind's had some interesting usage this match, and a lot more than I would have thought it would have. I have to give it credit. But would Dictate have been better? A lot more life damage at this point. Sorry, what was the question? You're saying Dictate's better, which oh. is maybe true. I don't think there's a question. I was just saying that Concealment. Well, actually, this is kind of weird. No, it doesn't make sense. Never mind. It plays out the 2 1. I mean, Tailwind would have been yeah. good. It's just that he got hard countered by the Deception special.
Yeah, that card's actually Red. like Red. dummy good against Hanukkah. I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to think what M4 does this turn. I mean, I really wish I would have seen the Lying Dust discarded here for Aura. Would you just play to Spirit, right? Probably. Why not? I can't see a reason why you don't play it. I mean, if you're going to do it, you probably play the Toxus first to just recover and hold on to the to the Shock or whatever the end your turn poison is. So he knows he has Reap. Um, actually, that is a good point. What is left in Heroes? It's Reap. And, um... Is it... No. Oh, is it Reap in Full Moon? It's not Full Moon, right? Uh, it's Reap in Kunai, right? Full Moon's his other card. Yeah, yeah it's Reap in yeah, Kunai. Yeah, Reap in Kunai. Uh, wow. wow. Ending your turn. Okay. That's two life damage. No, he can react with spirit, right? Right? Well, I guess, technically. You well, steal first, then you reap, and then he is only. Dust is always last. Not that it really matters. No, he can't react. Oh, he first, can react because yeah. the tail, the favorable wins. Okay, okay, I like it. I like. Wait, it. why? Favorable wins gives him better range. Concealment has no reactions. No, 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 no. He can't. It doesn't. It does not. <laughs> oh no! It does <laughs> not. That's lame. I thought concealment had no. Reaction. No, but like, uh, you don't you don't react to the concealment. I guess you could react to the concealment. That's fine. I was gonna say you can react out to range four anyway because he's got favorable winds up. So, oh, is this the recover to pass play? I don't know, man. Sure. Shuffle, shuffle. Uh, I mean, concealment and play out your cards. Maybe why not? Oh yeah, or don't. Recover whatever. Three. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, he's got a, he's got a good hand. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I forgot he's running for the dude. mandatory resurgence. Mm. Did that tick down? Did favorable winds tick down? Yes, it did. Yeah, six charge. <sighs> so boring. <laughs> Why wouldn't he just do two life damage? What the? F I mean, I know it's not two life damage, but it's close, right? It's it what the because feel so much. Yeah, it's two life damage no matter what, right? Because he just saves one aura. All the two one does is give him one aura. That's not enough. Well, okay, the two one gives him one aura, but it also gives him season's turn back. Oh. Uh, this is called playing around your opponent by doing nothing. And I guess. Uh, he was behind. Oh, oh is, it, is it time to know. sack her wing to range zero? <laughs> Cry. I don't hate it. So would I mean, you that... want to play out your kunai throw and reap so they make it into your next reshuffle? Yeah, I mean, I, I would have played out my cards almost regardless. <laughs> but... Maybe he's expecting him I mean, to put the... himself into it. Something closer to R four. There's yeah. nothing to play around by moving into R four because Kuru's range is basically global, right? Essentially, yeah. Yeah. So distance doesn't matter for the opponent. It does for the Hanukkah cards, but all right. You want you take it to life because we're terrified of railgun. It's called a mortal. F Never mind. Short. That's such a weird way to shorten it. We we'll call it a mortal flower. Mortal flow. Nah, it's just like wait. It's short for flower. 
<laughs> Two one or uh, come on. Yeah, it has to go lives. All right, because uh, railguns a five three. If he has it throughout, which he can yeah. get with Sakura Wings. Yep. That is your turn. Oh no, it goes to your played pile. That's such shenanigans. I learned that yesterday, actually. See, so if he blocked like Purple suggests, he would have died. If Purple was playing for would have died a couple turns ago. <laughs> Wait, how? He doesn't actually have it. See, never punish. I guess he blooms and then. Wait, what? That's like. Yeah. Yeah, hey. elusive six aura without Takoyo A2. Too bad it's still Ash next turn. It looks like M4 is gonna win this. Mm, yeah, Hero Grief. Hero Griefed it. It's whatever. But I mean, I think that. I don't know. He should have just really played out his cards. I think that would have helped him a lot. And made the more put him for a more comfortable position. Because like M4's deck is so loaded with garbage. Holy shit, that top deck. That's good. It's That's not enough. One, two, sure. three, four, one, five, two, two yeah, not enough. Three. You can enough. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, I missed I didn't count Miss Bane. One, two, oh, yeah. yeah, this is enough. It's not it is lethal. Oh, but he's gonna he's gonna Karoon here, so. But he doesn't have Mojo. You don't. You can still it. get rid of one of the attacks from the hand. Oh. Damn. Got him. Well, yeah, you just play the. It's just a reap. Yeah, because the other one's guaranteed two life anyway. Just is guaranteed two aura damage. Yeah, fair. Because you can do that and then follow up with Miss Bane. Either way, you're getting two life damage, but the other way, you're losing, you're just taking two more aura from them. So, yeah, I think I think maybe getting rid of the moon is better then. I guess. Yeah. Discovering the moon's probably oh. better. Well, if he discards the moon, then M4 can take it to life, then Reap is dead, so he has to discard the Reap. True. If he does take it to life after... Oh, it goes to played with this, doesn't it? Or was it discard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if he sees the moon, then he then you can probably tell that it's reap, and then take it to life. Why not? It gets resurged. Yeah. You're not saving the flare for anything at this point. It's all open. Two life. Two life, or do you... No, you don't need the action for anything. Hebra still loses this? Probably, um, right? Five, three, two, 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 two. He probably loses this. Two, three. Yeah, he loses next turn, right? She just dies to everything. Yep. He loses to five, three, two, 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 two. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, I think. Uh, well, he doesn't even play it. He plays it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, five, three, two, 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 two. Who we ruined? Save the game. How the fuck did M4 win this? Okay. Let's go to distance 5. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what distance he goes. 3, 2, get a life back. <sighs> That's cheap. And oh, yeah, I forgot I was counting that. 
We should blame Chikage for being low tier. <laughs> That's why Hebrew lost.